U.S. and Israeli leaders celebrated a historic transition as the U.S. Embassy in Israel officially moved from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. On behalf of the 45th president... But even before United President States Trump's America, daughter Ivanka could declare the embassy open... <laughs> Thousands of Palestinians closed in on Israel's border to protest the divisive decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Palestinians want East Jerusalem as their future capital. President Trump confirmed his commitment to Middle East peace in a video message. And we extend a hand in friendship to Israel, the Palestinians, and to all of their neighbors. May there be peace. Representatives from 86 different countries were invited to send delegations. Less than half did. That underlines just how controversial this embassy move is. Israeli drones fired tear gas toward Palestinian protesters. And Israeli soldiers reportedly shot and killed several dozen Palestinians during mass protests along the Gaza border today. President Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, noted he's the grandson of Holocaust survivors and said only President Trump had the courage to act on what many Americans have wanted for a long time. While presidents before him have backed down from their pledge to move the American embassy once in office, this president delivered because when President Trump makes a promise, he keeps it. Palestinians who have been demonstrating for weeks say the U.S. is now no longer a partner in the peace process. Seth Doan, CBS News, Jerusalem.